You all right there, ladies and gents? How's it going? It's locked down, baby. It's locked down. And uh, I thought I'll take this chance while I'm just on my way to the supermarket to uh, just say hello, touch base with you all, see how you're all doing. I hope you're all coping okay and uh, not having any issues or whatever. And I hope those of you that are solo people like myself, live alone and all that, that you've got a support bubble around you, looking after you and all that. It's not forever, it's not much longer. And uh, hopefully with this uh, vaccine and stuff like that, things will start looking up. Start looking up, I say. But yeah, yeah, um, it's all a bit weird, isn't it? But hey ho, we deal with what we've got, don't we? We deal with the cars we've played. Now I've been uh, furloughed again, not full time, just part time. So it means I am still working a little bit, which is nice. And uh, it means that I can commute to work on the bike if I so desire, which again is nice. Um, but yeah, other than that, the bike isn't getting a lot of use. With that in mind, I've got a few videos coming out very shortly that you might go, well, what the hell are you doing? That's a play run, that is. That's out there on your bike having fun. Um, and yes, those videos are me out on my bike having fun. But strangely, they were recorded a little bit before the lockdown, a little bit before this video. I got this bike well and truly before lockdown. I was just, uh, I didn't reveal it straight away to you all. So although you think I've only just got it, I've actually had it a little while now. Keep that bike. Down. Anyway, that's that out of the way, so you're not sitting there worrying and getting all sweaty, sweaty palms because Pete's out on his motorcycle when he shouldn't be. Um, yeah, hopefully those of you with a sensible head on will realise that when those videos come out anyway. What is nice that I've changed the bike is that I can go shopping on this now. I can go shopping on it and I am planning on trying to carry a crate of beer on this thing as well as my other bits and bobs. So um, yeah, that'll be interesting to see if I can do that. I've got my rock straps or ruck straps, whatever they're called, which uh, Big Pezza recommended to me after our camping trip and uh, Phil 480 as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to trying them out in anger. First time of using them on the motorcycle it will be. And hopefully, I'll be able to get myself at least 18 cans of beer <laughs> and my other bits of shopping back home. Without any dramas. We'll see, we'll see how we get on. Yesterday when I, I was loitering with intent around my garage, I adjusted the screen on this and I don't know whether I made a mistake before it was on its lowest setting, well tilted furthest back setting, it doesn't have an up and down setting, it's just got a tilt. Um, and I wanted to see if I could make it any quieter. So I've moved it on its fully forward place and it's made it a lot more noisy in my crush helmet. Which is a bit of a pain, a bit of a pain indeed. So that's a lesson learned. <laughs> I will probably angle it straight back again. Um, and just put up with how rubbish it is pretty much and to be honest it's not the bike's fault necessarily i think it's this crash helmet i got this i was duped i was duped shoe birth sell their crash helmets based on how quiet they are um and this one really really isn't but they can't test their crash helmets in every motorcycle against every higher person in every wind direction and speed so I'm, I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm not annoyed at shoe birth. I'm just a little bit disillusioned, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I really wanted a nice, quiet crash helmet with a flippy up front and a comms unit built in, and it was going to be the cure of everything. It was going to be the fix. It was going to be the most amazing crash helmet I've ever owned. And I'm just a little bit underwhelmed. <laughs> the comms unit is quite cool, though. I've been playing with that and I'm actually going to be doing a video utilising that to uh, help me along with it. I've got my RM Q&A video coming up soon. I'm just waiting on one more question from the garden shed. He, he promised me a question and uh, then I shall start putting that together. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Not a huge amount has been going on really. Uh, the weather has kind of put paid to most motorcycling for me and uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's just hard to have any mojo, isn't it? Any excitement to do things when there's not much you can do. Uh, and bec before lockdown even kicked in, I wasn't really able to do a huge amount then either because, well, just nothing's open. <laughs> All the things I want to do on a motorcycle, go and visit castles and stuff like that, hardly any of them are open anymore because it's blooming winter and they shut all their doors. They shut all their doors. Doggo! Hello, doggo. <laughs> I like dogs. Anyway, right. Let's see where these two are going and see whether I go left or straight on. I'm going to go left because one of them's a learner. I'm about to hit the supermarket, which isn't going to be much fun. I'm certainly not going to uh, have you join me in there. But I might have you join me outside afterwards while I try and pack all this shopping away. Well, I haven't got all the luggage fitted. I've only got the top box, which is quite good. It's quite a big top box. I know I can fit quite a lot of shopping in there. I won't fit a crate of beer though. Um, so I'm going to have to strap that one down. <laughs> Here will do nicely. Right, catch in a bit. Right, so as you can see, I managed to get me beers. Um, let's just see if they actually get home or not. I perhaps should have got an extra strap. But we shall see, we shall see in DDD. Oh, got quite a sweat on doing that though. It was really hot in the store and uh, I mistakenly shoved a jumper on. It's still t-shirt weather, or at least t-shirt weather under your leather jacket. So although my uh, crash helmet is quite noisy for me, I think actually your audio is not too awful. Certainly not at these speeds anyway. And now my face has cooled down, I can shut my visor again. And it's the visor I think that's causing the noise. It's the fins that are supposed to stop the noise that are causing the noise. Stupids! <laughs> Something I found out the other day about this motorcycle is it's got self-cancelling indicators apparently. I've not explored the uh, the usage of them yet, but it's kind of, it's not set up for you to just leave them. It's just set up in case you forget them. Which I think is good because it teaches you good habits when riding to actually use your indicators and cancel them and stuff like that. Um, but it does mean that they stay on for just that uncomfortable amount of time longer after you've made your turn if you were to forget them. Um, I think what they programmed to do is to go half a kilometre, 500 metres, or 40 seconds, whichever is um, the shortest, I'm assuming. So yeah, it's a nice little thing to have, that is. It's a nice little thing to have, especially as it's a Brucey bonus and I didn't even know it was there. Awesome stuff. I do feel for all those of you that don't have the ability to get out on your bikes while we're in this lockdown. I do feel for you very much, Lee. So uh, just keep your chins up and uh, know that it's not going to be for much longer. I just hope there's some reasonable weather after it's finished so that you can get out on the bikes again before winter kicks in properly in the UK. I tilted the handlebars up on this yesterday as well when I was fiddling with the screen and it's made it a little bit more of an aggressive riding position. Um, more of an assertive one, which is quite nice. It means that um, I feel very much in control of where the motorcycle is going. That's kind of cool. It'll be interesting to see how it feels once the engines run in and I'm pushing on a little bit. Um, but yeah, it, and it makes the levers just that little bit better. Uh, I don't know if uh, you remember from uh, my previous video where I mentioned that I couldn't adjust the levers down quite enough for me. And this seems to have sorted that, it seems to have sorted that. Oops, they're probably going to tug me now. <laughs> That'll teach me. That'll teach me for being impatient and trying to sneak to the front of the queue past a policeman. 
lights changed just as I wasn't expecting it. Well, they went straight on and I got to go this way. <laughs> I got away with that one just about. <laughs> I think me uh, accepting my error and uh, giving them a hand of acknowledgement possibly stopped me getting a tug then. Because <laughs> actually they're quite within their rights to pull any road user over at the moment to find out if they're doing a necessary journey. Um, and yeah, I just don't really need all the questions and stuff. But at least I've got a top box full of shopping and a back seat full of beer. <laughs> so at least they can see that I have been to Tesco's. <laughs> but yes, this um, slightly more aggressive um, bar position sort of puts my elbows up more motocross style or, or off-road style, which uh, is quite nice. So that might help if I do any green lanes on this as well to uh, keep me in control of the machine, the beast between my legs and all that. Because the lockdown thing came in, um, I haven't been able to do a huge amount of mileage on this, but I'm going to talk about that in um, a later video that was recorded previously. Uh, like I was saying, on the way to the supermarket, I've got a couple which I've recorded prior to the lockdown kicking in. Um, so the timeline's all a bit squiffy, but I just thought this one was one worth putting up this week as, um, yeah, well, it's topical because it's the start of lockdown, sort of and it also explains the upcoming videos just so you don't think I've been out gallivanting when I shouldn't have been Ooh, that's going to be shaking up my beer cans <laughs> beer can! <laughs> got, a, got a Jamaican <laughs> I do like this little road, but it is quite bumpy, which makes this bike an even better choice for it. My street triple, especially after I'd got the suspension set up, was just a little bit firm for this one. It's still fun though. Well, we're going to head back into town in a second, and I'm sure you don't want to see me sitting in traffic. I certainly don't want to see me sitting in traffic, but it needs must. I have to get home. I can't just stay out on this country lane all day long. Um, so yes, yes. All right, well, we are just about to hit suburbia, the urban environment, which, although this motorcycle is very good at, I really don't like vlogging in traffic, especially stop-start traffic light traffic and all that sort of stuff. Um, I just find it a bit boring to watch. So I don't see any point in inflicting that on you. So, with that in mind, if you found my channel because of this wonderful little Moto Guzzi V85, my happy hippo, please do click that subscribe button. If you found it because of my scintillating title, my brilliant, brilliant wordsmithing of getting a title put together of carrying beer on a bike or whatever it was that I put for the title of this very wonderful video, um, do again, click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, you enjoy the content, do click the like button as well, that would be awesome. It would be ace to have you come back for some more when I do post stuff. There's going to be quite a lot of V85 stuff just because it's new and I want you all to see my wonderful motorcycle. I shall be doing some off-roading soon as well on my Beta. I've got a Beta 390 Enduro bike, so check that out as well in the future. That'll be after lockdown now, I imagine. And uh, yeah. I've also got a summer bike, but you'll probably not see that for a little while now because it's all locked away and tucked up. Anyways, whatever you do, please do drop in a comment, like I said, click that like button. And if you don't like this video and all that sort of stuff, you can always give it a little thumbs down, I don't mind. Whatever's, whatever's. Righty, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye bye for now. And keep that bar. Promise I. Down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bar. Promise I. Down. <laughs>